Hi, John Richardson, Realtor with Remax Unlimited in Ponte Vedra, Florida, here in Natchitoches Town Center. And uh, I had a reflection from this past weekend that I wanted to share. So on Saturday, I competed in an Ironman triathlon. It's something that I had been wanting to do my entire life. As soon as I knew what one was, it was something that I, I wanted to do. And it motivated me a lot to, um, like the thought of finishing, the thought of becoming an Ironman motivated me a ton in training. It motivated me to just like wake up early, to eat healthy, to do a lot of things that otherwise would seem pretty hard. And as I was thinking this past week, and I actually thought about this, I had a lot of time on the bike to think about this, that the Ironman kind of was a lot like the real estate market has been for some buyers, right? Like you have this idea, you want this house and it, it means a lot to you and you want to move to Nocatee or you want to move to Florida and it's a really important thing. But there's a long process and there's a lot of steps along the way. So the Ironman's a, a 2.4 mile swim. It's a 112 mile bike. It's a 26.2 uh, mile run, all run in a row. Um, you know, you know, one of the goals is to do it as fast as you can. And and during that process, there's a lot of doubt, a lot of hard things that happen. And um, it's not the that much dissimilar from the home buying process and missing out on offers. And you know, the the thought of becoming an Iron Man and the thought of buying that new home is a big motivating factor, and it, it will get you to do a lot of difficult things. One thing that happened to me as I finished the bike. So it was about six hours, seven hours into this race. The, the totality of what was ahead um, was too much to bear. Like I had 26 miles to run and I was tired and it was getting hot and it was windy. And like the last thing I wanted to do was run 26 miles. And I imagine that's how a lot of buyers feel um, in this market is like the last thing I feel like doing is making another offer and getting my hopes up and getting let down. And then I still have to move all of my stuff and find a moving truck and just like insert reason uh, that something seems impossible. And for me, um, the thought of becoming an Ironman was no longer uh, enough of a motivating factor. Like I, I needed something else. So what I did is I started thinking, all right, I don't need to run 26 miles. I just need to run one more. And then I just need to run one more and one more and one more. And something crazy happened is that that run became like really enjoyable. I, I honestly don't have a bad memory of it, but I know it was horrible. <laughs> like I know I was really tired. I know that I was chafing. I know that I had like sweat and spit and like everything. It just wasn't good. It wasn't a good, like healthy situation, but it was so enjoyable because I was so focused on the process. So if you're a buyer out there and like things seem hard and it seems difficult, like I would encourage you to just focus on the process focus on the next house and take it one step at a time. And problems seem much smaller when you're able to break it down into bite-sized chunks. So I don't know what the problem that you might have in your life right now. And um, I hope that you don't have any, but I imagine that most of us do. And I wanna encourage you to take it one step at a time to enjoy the process because the end result is totally worth it. Um, finishing that Ironman was a goal of mine and I'm super proud of it. And I'm super proud of you too for pursuing your goals, for staying tough, and um, just taking it one step at a time. I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.